14 years I've known him in the gym. I have finished my stand master. I'm on the stationary bike, sweating profusely, and I had bang. Three women in the gym were screaming. I left my machine and went and hair laid my friend. Trying to find some air to breathe. We gathered around him and pumped his heart as hard as we could. Yelled out his name. His wife was calling out Jesus, save him. I just said, call the ambulance. Let's take him to the hospital. There were about seven, eight of us. And something dawned on me when we took him out, there was no ambulance, there was no car. We threw the former vice president in the pickup. Threw him in the back, and they drove off to 37. And this moment, I went back to the gym, and everybody had departed. The place was empty. I just went and got my towel and my phone, and called my driver to take me home. Waiting so anxiously on the phone, to hear if somebody would call and said it's all right. When the call came, and Boachi, the trainer in the gym, said, I said, I knew you. My president is dead. I thought about this event. And I thought about the school he went to. And I thought about my friend Sam who and Kojo and Sen, all of this has been working hard to put at the side and find some on this day. And I rolled back and remembered why we tried to try to bring him to life and saw how helpless all of us were. I said to myself, that this life is not ours. That this life that we're molding the clay, the man who gave us a breath of air. Here he lay, six foot two. We couldn't see him. Some of you would say how powerful your chain is, how mighty we could be, but at that moment, there was nothing any one of us could do to save him. It taught me a lesson all day Friday. For those of us who may believe that we were created and that somebody molded us out of clay and put the breath of air in us and arranged the eyesight and put speech in our mouth and gave us some intellectual capacity and gave us limb to walk when we sleep at night and wake up, you ought to believe that somebody made us. And that person maybe decided that he is the one. He is the only one that could have brought and decided back to life. And for whatever reason, he decided to end it. Golf is a game. So when we live this world and live this country, if I'm decided to have to tell somebody at 9 a.m. that I have offended you, I'm sorry, he never got the chance. If somebody was thinking about, I'm going to this office at 10 o'clock to say, well, I've offended you, and I'm sorry, you never got the chance. I didn't want this speech to be this way. But let me tell you, as we celebrate, let us all know that we must be humble. We must have humility yeah. in this life. He's not here today. And for you, you were not there to see his wife grabbing her husband and say, Jesus, please save him. His wife was there.
This experience will never leave. But we're here together to see.